What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to Train Simulator 2017 and we're in Los Angeles at Los Angeles Union Station and we've got this locomotive which is an F40 PH and it's got a few baggage cars here just sped that up a bit and how many uh, cars that's seven yep seven Amtrak surf liner cars uh, yeah a uh, super liner sorry they're called super liner cars and there's one at the end as well which is slightly different I think that's just for the better view and we're gonna do the first leg of the Pacific surf liner route from here in Union Station to Anaheim oh look at that there's another train coming in there is another super liner set this one with a train on the back and that is a what's that train called um I can't remember it'll come to me in a minute anyway let's set off so we're in the cab and we first thing we need to do is put it into forwards the reverser into forwards the brakes are on so they need to come off and as soon as I needle on the left there hit zero there we go let's give it ooh, one notch of power which is 12 percent and let's get going so as I said this is the first leg of the route to Anaheim the Pacific Surf Liner actually goes it goes through LA down to San Diego but it actually starts off in um, St. Louis Obispo in Northern California and it goes down it goes through the uh, California valleys stops at Los Angeles Union Station which is where we are now then it goes through Fullerton Anaheim Santa Ana Irvine Irvine, Irvine, all the way down to San Diego. And I think this is going to be a pretty fun route. We're going to Fullerton. I think I said something else, but we're going to Fullerton. It is 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm allowed to be a bit drowsy. <laughs> this is going to be a nice looking route. There is something important I wanted to talk to you guys about. And that is that... Basically, before, the way I recorded a video is I'd record the screen and the audio on the computer, like my desktop audio, using Bandicam. And I'd record my voice using my phone and a pair of headphones I had for my phone because my PC doesn't have a 3.5mm jack for the headphones I had. But I've bought, and I'm using right now, some Razer Kraken headphones. And I love them. I can't be fair. I do love them. And what that means is I can record my audio directly for, through my PC. And I'm recording now using OBS Studio. And OBS is actually a streaming service. And that means that I can actually now live stream. I've done a few. And by that I mean like I basically did some tests. And I was getting one, maybe two frames a second. It wasn't good. And I think that's just because I didn't have my bit rate up high enough, which is how fast it streams, basically. But now I've turned that up and I've set everything up. I've got a night bot. I've got stream labels. So if someone donates or subscribes or whatever, it'll pop up on screen. You can see my chat on the screen. And it is absolutely awesome. And I am starting, well, I'm planning on starting some live streams, providing I can get it to work okay. And I'm actually doing one tomorrow, which is Monday the uh, 13th, it'll be Monday the 13th of November. And I do really want to get a live stream going. So if you guys want to see that, feel free to pop on over. I'll put my channel in the description. It's called GT Gamer Official. And you guys can help me out. You can watch me uh, play a game. You can give me some tips and tricks because obviously I've never streamed before. And I think it'll be quite fun. It'll definitely be quite fun. Hopefully I can get better frame rates, otherwise it'll be a very short stream. Uh, I don't know what time I'm going to do it. I was thinking 6 o'clock um, Greenwich Mean Time, so uh, Universal Time. Code. I don't know what that is in America or anything. But I'm sure if you Google it, it'll tell you. But yeah, about 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock, I was hoping to jump onto Twitch 
and get a live stream going and you guys could really help me out if you went over and watched it I think that'd be awesome because live streaming is actually quite a lot of fun like, even though it was terrible last time like the frame rate was so low I did have a lot of fun doing it so make sure you guys go and see that yeah right at the moment oh, zoomed in a little too far there at the moment we got quite slow speeds and we're running alongside the LA River which is actually a storm drain not a river hence it's empty and we will shortly be going over the LA River on a flyover like a big curvy bridge and not long after that I think the speed limit we'll actually be able to go yeah you can see it on the map there we'll be able to go 79 miles an hour on this journey I don't know how fast this locomotive is. I ha a locomotive is. God, I can't speak today. I can never speak when I'm trying to record something. But yeah, I don't know how fast this locomotive is. But I'm hoping to get some pretty good speeds out of it. I reckon we can hit the 79 miles an hour if we try hard enough. We're probably not going to now because uh, the speed limit drops down in a minute if I remember right. Ooh, look at that. We've got a freight train there. BN, Burlington Na uh, Northern. They don't exist anymore. They got collapsed into BNSF, didn't they? Burlington Northern Santa Fe. There's a uh, centre of LA over there. It's a uh, truck yard. God, I love this game. It's so cool, this game. Like, it really is. Right, let's go full throttle. I reckon we can hit 79 miles an hour. Come on, train. You can do it. Oh, that's not full throttle. I didn't mean to do that either. Let's have a look through the views while we're doing that. Inside, obviously, left and right, that's standard. Then there's the free camera. I'm only recording this video in 720, so the alias in it <coughs> and the uh, definition, sorry, my throat's a bit sore, it isn't quite. Uh, as good as it usually is but that's just so I can keep an eye on the recording in the background because OBS seems to randomly start streaming and I want to make sure that doesn't happen so this is the inside view can you change seats yes you can Ooh, this is cool uh, just the two seats both of them forward facing basically the same thing but reversed that's cool though uh, above and then you've got the hitch um, the couple of points, a camera view, whatever. Oh, it dropped down then. That was unusual. Anyway, uh, next camera. Oh, more, another freight train. There we got the outside view, obviously. And I think the next one's probably the cab view. There's more tracks over the other side of the river there. That's. I think they're freight tracks. I'm not sure, though. This is quite a long freight train, this one. Wow. Oh, speed limit change, speed limit change. God, this takes forever to neutral, put the throttle in neutral. I got a feeling... Oh, actually, we wasn't going anywhere near as fast as I thought we were. We can actually afford to accelerate that a little bit. Here's the locomotive for that train. What is it? That is an SD40-2. And this is that bridge I was on about, which will take us up and over the LA River. Let's go back inside. So yeah, I'm hoping to um, release this video. I'm hoping to get it out tonight, uh, which is Sunday, but that may or may not happen. I don't know yet. I just realized the mouse was on the screen. Sorry, that's because I muted my audio for a second. But it's coming out on the Monday night and you haven't really noticed it because I have a backlog of videos. I release them, like I record them and I don't release them sometimes for up to a few weeks. But I've actually not been recording that much recently and the reason for that is just because work is getting so busy now. 
I work for Amazon in a warehouse, a logistics warehouse, and <laughs> when I started, we had one or two aisles each to pick boxes and put them out for the routes, and we was getting about 12,000 parcels a night, which at the time was pretty hectic for me, gotta be fair, but then I was brand new. Now we're getting four or five routes, like aisles, and we're averaging about 18,000 and that's only going to go up so work is getting more and more hectic as as like every day it's insane oh come on speed slow down slow down come on god that did not want to slow down then so we're in a 40 limit but once again it's going to go back up to 79 in a minute i'm testing the audio right now in this video oh another train that one's carrying heavy machinery like diggers and tractors. That's quite cool. That's awesome. It's a little bit repetitive, but it's still pretty awesome. LA does have a lot of rail traffic through it, but then it's a massive city, so what do you expect? Little flashing light on the back of the train. But yeah, this video serves another purpose it's also an audio test for me cross this track because as i said i got these new headphones and they're extremely loud and they don't have something on them to, to turn them down and to change the microphone volume and all that so i had to set it up through obs and i think i've got it about right i did a few tests but there's a possibility that the audio is a bit loud or it's not equalized properly so if that's true then I apologize for that but it does mean that I can record more often and make videos faster now for the simple reason I can record the voice audio at the same time I record the game audio because through Bandicam it would record at a variable, variable frame rate and not to get too complicated, what that means is the frame rate, the amount of frames per second, is not constant. And Premiere Pro, which I use to edit, can only record, can only edit in constant frame rate. So I had to use an application called Handbrake to basically make it constant frame rate. The problem with that is you have two choices do it fast and have low quality or do it slow and have full quality and if you was to encode an hour long video at full quality you can expect to have like nine hours of, of um, converting it and it's just not feasible so I had to turn the quality down a little bit now of course because the audio is in one piece I don't have to do that it's I all I have to do is stick it straight into Premiere Pro and because I don't have to sync up any audio, it won't be out of sync, so I can just use the variable fr frame rate. And that'll be so much better. And of course, we don't lose any of the quality. So this is much better, not just for me, because it's easier, but for you guys, because you get better quality stuff. And I can release it sooner. So this is definitely a step in the right direction, guys. Don't get me wrong. Right, why are we going so slow? I, I completely chat in a way, not concentrating on the speed. Jeez. Next to a road. This looks like a busy road, but there's no vehicles on it. That's a busy yard, though. I can tell you that much. Yeah, it's not as big as I thought it was, but it's still pretty big. That is an intermodal station, or intermodal, depends how you want to say it. So basically containers are brought here by truck and stuff like that and the trains will wait here and you can see these cranes here. They will pick up the container or the trailer, whatever it is, and load it onto a train and then it can be transported across the country by bulk so it's cheaper. It's actually really cool. And the result of that is you get these double stacked um, container trains which for some reason there's none here. That's unusual. Like you'd think all these tracks would be full of them, but nope, they just got boxcars and these are called auto racks. And they load uh, vehicles onto there, like cars, and cars get ca transported across the country. 
God, this train's not very fast at accelerating, is it? It is a very good looking train, though. It'd be nice if we could sit in this back passenger carriage. I'm trying to get the camera inside, Briss not wanting to work. Look at that. That is. Ah, come on, camera. I'm trying to get a good view inside. No, it's not going to work. But you saw the interior briefly. That is very nice. Right, I need to get back in the cab and actually concentrate. Coming up on a station, Commerce. Which I think, because I tried to record a video on this route before. And if I remember right, Commerce Station is mainly for workers who work at, like in the, the industrial area where we are. So that's what our station is. We're not going to stop there. In fact, we're not going to stop anywhere except Fullerton because that is the first stop on the route. As far as I know, let me just check that. I do have a route map open. Yeah, the next stop's Fullerton. And that's as far as we're going today. And then in a later video, uh, hopefully I can go from Fullerton to San Juan Capistrano. And then we can finish off the rest of the journey from San Juan Capistrano, that's such a cool name, to San Diego. I think that would be awesome. And then we've done the full length of the route all the way from LA to uh, San Diego, which is as far as the route goes in this game. That's awesome. Right, one thing I do want to look out for is uh, grade crossings or level crossings as we'd call them because we need to send our horn for them like that would be a level crossing there if we was going on that track curving away we'd have to send our horn and I have mentioned this in the past but you have to send the horn in a very specific way which is two long uh, blasts then a short blast and then one final long blast as you're crossing and that just warns drivers that you're coming, make sure they don't do anything stupid because you know what some people are like on the road. Talking of which, I've got some exciting news. I passed my theory test, my driving theory test last week and I've got my first lesson tomorrow so I am excited for that. I have driven before but not on the road, it was on private property. So I'm so excited, it's a half nine tomorrow morning. I'm so happy. I I, I want to pass as soon as possible because at the moment I'm catching taxis to work and getting lifts and it's just not feasible. So as soon as I can get a car, I can give my friends lifts to work and it'll just be so much better, so much easier. So that is definitely something to look forward to. I'm so impressed. I've managed to pass my theory test first time with no revision. Well, all I re revised was the stopping distances. Like literally I looked at them five minutes before I went in and memorized them. And the minimum tread depth, which is 1.6 millimeters in the UK. That's all I remembered. And I somehow managed to pass first time. That was so easy. Like I'm not even joking. I was about to say we're going to speed, but we're only going 59 and the speed limit's going down to 65. So yeah. This is a very slow train. I probably should have put a double edit, a double header on here. Maybe in the next video. But then that would be a bit inconsistent. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. So speed limit's going down to 65 here. It does go down to 50 around the corner. So I'm just going to idle the power. Which takes an eternity. And... So it goes 79, down to 50, then back up to 60, then another 50, and then a 70. And if I remember right, that's because we got two level crossings with a rail rather than a road. Which we have to slow down for, because otherwise we'd get quite a nasty jolt. So that's why the speed limit's doing that. That's as far as I remember. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure that's why it is. Sorry that my cursor keeps appearing. It's just because now and again I have to mute my mouse because I don't want, I'm sure you guys don't want to hear me drinking and stuff like that. 
saying they're horn because we're coming up to a grade crossing. I'm going to try and use American terminology, but I'm not American, so occasionally I slip. Sorry. And there's the long blast across the crossing. Perfect. Ooh, actually. Oh, that yeah, that sign. I don't know if you saw it, the W or the thing right That means we're in a quiet zone. I shouldn't have done that. Crap. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, there's some places where you're not meant to sound the horn. Let me just pop outside and I'm pretty sure that says quiet zone. Yeah, no whistling. That was actually a cool sight as the train passed then. I'm going to try and get a good thumbnail or something. Somewhere cool to put the camera. Come on. Yes, that looks awesome. That looks absolutely awesome. Obviously, I'm going to edit out the HUD at the bottom. But damn, that looks cool. And here's that level crossing I was telling you about with the rail. Don't have to honk for that. Right, we can stay in full power since we're only going 47 miles per hour. Uh, it drops back down to 50 again in a moment. That's a a little bit stupid. It goes 50, 70, 50, 79, 70 in like less than a mile. That's a little bit stupid. Ah well. Still a nice route. Still a nice journey. It's cool how it goes through all these little towns and com uh, I was about to say commerce is then like in what's the word I'm looking for? Not commercial area. Residential area. God I couldn't think then. Because you get such a better view. Idle the power once more. This is the bit I was on about where there's two level rail crossings. But yeah, you get so much more to look at in these areas because of the um, the houses. And that's such a nice place. Could, would you want to live there? I totally would. I'd love to live somewhere like that. California in one of these little houses in a quiet residential area. That'd be amazing. I'm sold. I'm going to move there. <laughs> I wish. Oh, crossing a very busy... Two very busy roads now. Should we honk for that one? I don't know. Eh, there's a barrier in place, so no one should be able to run it. Look at that. Three cement... Four cement mixers. Three of them are identical. Great spawning, that is. I've always said, though, that the AI in this game is not the best. Right, now we can just stay in full power, sit back, relax, and enjoy the California wilderness. Although, to be fair, those mountains in the distance are a little bit low quality. Anything? Yep. That's the thing. To optimise the frame rates, this game only spawns in detail close to the tracks. The further away from the track you get, the less detailed it is, which is fair. But, I don't know, they could have done a bit more with those hills, even if they put in, like, a picture or something that looks like the hill. They could have done a bit more about that, I think. Santa Fe Springs coming up. I don't th We're not going through Santa Fe Springs Station. I don't know if there is a Santa Fe Springs Station. But that's the um, track mark that we're at, the landmark. I think we're on the outskirts of LA now. We might have even left LA, I don't know. I'm not the best with geography. Like, I'm alright with countries and things like that, but when it comes to specific cities, I'm not that good. Especially when it's foreign cities. I'd love to go to California one day, though. In fact, I am going to California one day. Unless I like drop down dead tomorrow, which I'm not planning on doing, I am going to go to a California one day. It's expensive, but God, it'd be worth it. Look at all those rusted cars there. That's cool. That must be a junkyard or something. West Norwalk? Norwalk? No, it's got to be Norwalk, surely. Coming on West Norwalk. Speed limit keeps alternating and fluctuating between 75, 70, and 79. That's a little bit weird, but okay. I'm not sure if we're still in the quiet zone. I'll try and read this sign as we go past it. 
that it is facing the other way. I'm just going to assume we're in a quiet zone until I stop seeing residential buildings and stuff like that. I don't think we've even broke 60 miles an hour yet. We're about to. 60. Perfect. The detail though. So not to sit there and place all of these little objects you see. These boxes, these trucks. There is a lot of detail that went into this game. I've tried to build routes before. Not on this game, but on Trains 2006. Because it was had a very easy editor. And let me tell you, it takes a lot of time to build these routes. So, I am quite impressed. They probably have a big team of people on it. But still, I'm quite impressed how much they managed to do. Right, let's go back in the cab for a little bit. Coming up on... I thought I said La Miracle then. La Miracle, Main 2. That's the track we're going to be on in a moment. No idea what station this is, but I thought I'd give him a honk as I went through. You know, just to be nice. How far are we? We are 8 point... Uh, we're not far from now. 8.7 miles away from our stop. In my older videos, because I had to pull them through handbrake and all, which, i, I got to be fair, I don't know if the audio will be in sync. I'm hoping it will be, because then I can just not have to encode it. But if I don't, which I'm assuming I don't, that was a lot more confusing than it had to be, then you may have noticed in my old videos where it says the ETA, like, it would look more like CTA, because for some reason in every video, the middle horizontal bar of the capital E that would just be faded into nothingness so now hopefully if you can see the middle bar on that E clearly you know I haven't had to encode this basically yeah it's in 720 but there's no blur so I think it will be better and in the future I am going to record in 1080 again I'm only doing it in 720 as I said because I'm still testing OBS. I don't want it to start streaming, so I've got it I've got the game minimized but in a window and I got OBS next to it just so I can keep an eye on everything. Our ETA is only how long is that? Seven yeah, about seven or eight minutes. Eight minutes. So we're not far out now. We've done the first third, say? Yeah, I'd say a third. And god the scenery has been lovely. They did very well on this route, I must say. Like the close-up stuff next to the track, they did extremely well. There's a lot of little branch lines and all that stuff. That's a little bit weird. There must be a lot of big industries and big factories and stuff around here. For these trains to have to deliver to and all that. Either that or they're old relics from when this used to be a massive booming industrial town. And they just haven't removed them. But yeah, there are certainly a lot of spurs, like that there. They must get a lot of freight traffic in, it. Freight traffic in LA, like a heck of a lot. There's not much AI traffic on this route for the simple reason that a lot of it, not so much now but later on, is single track. And if you put too much AI traffic on, it's only a matter of time before you conflict with something and just crash or get stuck indefinitely at a red light. So that's why there's not much AI traffic. So, bit of a downside. But, I don't know, I'd much rather a nice journey than a journey with AI traffic and get stuck somewhere. What is that there? That's like um, a power station or some kind of TV radio antennas or something. Never noticed that before. Then I haven't driven this route in a long time. Coming up on Buena Park. Uh, yep, Buena Park. Not stopping there. We're going straight through. And stopping at Fullerton. So, about six minutes. I'm really anxious to see how the audio sounds on this video. I did run a few test records, but they were li like literally just me sat there going, testing audio, blah, blah, blah. And then just playing it back for 10 seconds to see what it was like. I think I've got it nailed. I'm not certain though. I guess 
this will be the test. But as time goes on, I'm sure I'll get better and better at it. Like, look at my very first video. They were terrible. And now I'm starting to learn things, starting to get better. So, I'm certainly improving, and I'm hoping to keep on improving indefinitely. I'm just admiring the scenery as I blabber on about random stuff. It's lovely scenery. I didn't even notice that we switched from the middle track to the right-hand side track. I didn't even know when that happened. <laughs> it shows how much attention I was paying. I wouldn't be surprised if we blasted through a red light, honestly. Still only going 62, 64 miles per hour. And slowing down massively. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to modify the train a little bit in the next video. Not unless you want to go the entire route at 60 miles an hour. Like, this is just so slow. What's the bell sound like? Pretty standard. I love the way it flashes, though. See the lights on the top flashing? Let me zoom in a little bit. That's such a cool detail. And you've got your little rail workers in the front. Oh, that's awesome. Just the two little engineers having a chat. So, Mike, how's the wife and kids? Are oh, they good? How's her, Sandy? That's so awesome. There is a lot to like about this game. I can turn that off now. I'm not sure if there is a controller shortcut for the bell and stuff because I use a controller mainly I only really use the mouse and keyboard to zoom in and to use the bell I suppose ah oh, and open the doors I forgot to do that at LA didn't I ah oh well doesn't matter that much yeah I forgot to use the bell at LA this interior is pretty nice mind the textures are quite good Let's have a quick look rain before we have to stop. What's that? Auto brake. Independent brake. That's the bell. Horn. Oop. That's cool. And down here we have Sander, I think that says. Yep, Sander. Can't use them. That's the dynamic brake, which is like an engine brake. That's the power handle. What have we got over here? Reverser, headlights, what's that? Nothing. Speed control? God knows. Anything else? What's that there? Strobe lights? Uh, yes, please. White and red. So there are the lights on top. You can turn them. Ah, oh, what's the red look like? I'm assuming that's if you're reversing or something. That's the middle light there on the top. See it? The middle one there. That's cool. That's awesome. Anything else in here we can control? I should probably turn these off now. Put that in the middle. Some stuff over there. Not controllable. Oh my god, look how close we are to the station. No, not emergency brake. Just very, very strong brake. <laughs> Jeez. Whoops. There's me playing around with stuff. Okay, that's a bit too much brake. Playing around with stuff. Doesn't even notice that the station's approaching very quickly. Let's give it a little bit of power. I kind of panic brake then. I very much over break there. I thought we was a lot closer than we were. It's lovely weather though. I set it to half one when we set off because I thought that'd be kind of like the brightest part of the day because it's a long journey and we don't want to start at like four and then find out it's getting <laughs> dark at like halfway through the journey. I don't think that'd be very good. Let's just pull into the station about 25 to 30 miles an hour, I reckon. Let's just cut the power here and coast in, I reckon. Unless we drop too much speed, because we are going uphill quite steeply at the moment. Yeah, I think we're going to lose too much speed if we do that. So just give a notch two of power, 25%. And coast into the station we shall. 
I love the little sound effect of the wheels going over the points. Like the do 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 do. That was a very bad impression, but you know what I mean. Speed limit's going down to 55, that's what that little marker there means. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's a little bit sore, as I said. Probably should mute my microphone every time I cough, but you know. I keep forgetting these things. And here we are at Fullerton. So, guys, that was fun. Make sure to check out my live stream tomorrow. I'm hoping to get it done, providing nothing goes wrong. I'm going to try and stream at about 6. And it won't be a very long stream, because i got to do some stuff afterwards. But I'm hoping I will see you then, guys. It's on Twitch. As I said, I'll leave the link in the description. And hopefully this video will be out before I live stream. Hopefully I don't have to encode it and all that nonsense. And let's just bring it to a gentle stop here. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.